to life with Aisha today we're doing a review of the Olivia Kim and Nike collab and I picked up the footscape she actually had five different I think five or four or five different shoes that came out and I just wanted to pick up the box show you this is the Nike box that has you know just do it tape on it <laughs> and and I did purchase these shoes on last Friday so I've had them today for exactly like a week but I took a minute to get this review out to you all because I knew that I had previous videos that I had to film and get out because I have some PR stuff that I have to get in by a certain deadline. So this review is a bit later than I wanted it to be, but nonetheless, it's here now. So I did pick up the women's Nike Air Footscapes and I got them in a size 8. The resale on these were $150. I did end up purchasing mine off of the sneakers app. Um, just a little info on the release of this shoe. They first did a Nike Nordstrom collab because if you're not familiar with who Olivia Kim is she's like the vice president of like Nordstrom and she does the Nordstrom and Nike collabs I hope I'm getting that right that's based off of what I know because I've kind of been in tune with different things that she does at Nordstrom and she's been doing it for some years now so if you want to look up anything pertaining to her just look up Nordstrom and I'm sure Olivia Kim name will pop up in some type of capacity but um getting right into this review I want to show you all the Nike box because it was just all overall just a really nice well put together box so across the front of it you see this poem that's on it and um i read it to you it says aloha i like words with double o's moon is a good one cleo plus red hearts pink ocean volt happy times with loved ones new york hawaii korea jupiter beach for jamaica we work together treat everyone the same kindly never stop plus questioning everything just do it just do it just do it love peace respect then it has the nike um logo right here and it's cut out in the box it's kind of like like an etching so to speak like i'm gonna open this up so you can see that a little bit better and also it has the other symbols right here the peace the love and respect symbols in neon green the box is pretty much this brown um kind of like wooden paper colored box and it has um hints of like a royal blue and neon all over the box you can kind of see that um even right here on the side of the box the back of the box and the bottom of the box so yeah i thought it was a pretty cool box um i really like things that are not the norm um i don't i haven't really been too much into buying a whole lot of new shoes this year just because a lot of things haven't really been catching my eye or I've been trying to get certain releases and I just haven't come up on them. So, you know how that goes. But, you take some L's, but you also get some wins. This is how the inside of the box looks. This is the tissue paper on it. And it's um a white, clear tissue paper. And it has Nike Air. And it has the Peace, Love, and Respect symbols on it. So, yeah, let's just get into that. And each shoe is individually wrapped. So... I can take this shoe out and it has paper and this shoe and it has paper. I haven't um actually looked through looked in this box but one time so I this is pretty much my initial review of the shoe aside from seeing the pictures online. So I'm just gonna take out the top shoe out the box and I'm gonna show you the shoe. So it's rolled up, like I said, it's individually wrapped. Take the shoe out of the box. And here we go. So I did get the footscapes. This is my first pair of Nike footscapes. I have always wanted to get a pair of these shoes. I just never really found a pair that was either a color that I wanted or just at the right pricing of what I wanted to pay for it. Because um, a couple, I think either last Christmas or the Christmas before last, my brother actually texted me a picture of some Nike footscapes that he wanted. And I purchased them for him for Christmas because that's what he asked for. So once he got those in, I was like, yeah, that's a really dope shoe. I like that shoe. I've always been saying I wanted a pair of them. I just hadn't got a chance to get one. So I'll show you right now the other four pair of shoes that were, were in her collab. I picked this pair because it just really spoke to me you have the pink that's in the shoe it's like this very faint pink um i'm not really quite sure let's see if the box tells us tells us what color it is it just says some in white and vote so it's not telling me telling us the exact shade of pink but it's like a palish pink and it also has like a peach undertone to it then the shoe is mainly um zebra stripe print 
all around the shoe. On the back you have the Nike sign and it's in that Volt neon color. Also at the toe box area you have the exact same color. The inside of the shoe you have the Nike Air inside of it in the neon color. Um, it just comes with simple white laces, nothing too, too special about that. Um, it has the little pull tab here that's in white and silver. And also, hints around the shoe, at the, the back of the shoe, is like a muted gray color. But the zebra stripe is um, made up of like a darker, I would say, a um, you would see like it's made up of a darker gray in the other color. I would say it's kind of like a heather gray. This is the other side of the shoe here. Um, just has regular tissue paper on the in, inside of it. Nothing special about that. But I do want to show you the left shoe so you can see the really coolness of the shoe. Like I said before, same type of situation. Tissue paper wrapped up. But with this one, you do get a very much so cool hang tag. So, yeah, that's what I was talking about. It's kind of like a Betty Boop, but one of her eyes is a Nike check and the other is just a regular, you know, the eye. And I thought that was super cute. I first saw, um, if you follow her on Instagram, and she also was part of the BT um, Colorways and Toe Boxes um, YouTube show. Her name on Instagram is What's Good. I put her name. She had a pair of the... Um, Olivia Kim Air Force Ones, which I love those as well, but I just didn't see myself wearing an all blue shoe like that. But she had a pair of those, and that's when I first saw and information about this collab that was probably like a couple months ago because like I said before, um some of her items were New York and in-store exclusives, and she's from um New York, so yeah, a lot of items I would not have been able to get my hands on. Just, um, like I said before, I did get these from Sneakers. I don't really have a whole lot of luck with the app, but um, I have gotten like two or three releases off of there this year. So, better than the past three years where I got none. The shoe does have like a stretchy kind of feel. So, even though it does have laces here, it's kind of like one of those shoes you can kind of like stretch and put your foot inside of it kind of a bit similar to like a hirachi so i did get a, a purchase of eight of these i wasn't sure if i needed to get a seven half in women um i guess i'll find it out once i wear them but um i just think it's an overall dope shoe this is just how the back of the hang tag looks and this is how the front looks to give you a closer up of it let's attach with this metallic pink chain so yeah i think i've given you overall looks of this shoe this is the sole of the shoe um overall nice dope shoe as i can see already it's going to be very comfortable i can't wait to rock these um i will be wearing them probably sooner than later some shoes i let sit but this is not a pair that i will let sit at all so let me know down below if you were able to um cop any of the olivia kim collab that she did with nike also let me know down below if you got this particular pair or if you ordered one of the other pairs um I did really like, like I said before, the Air Force Ones were like probably my third option. If I didn't get these, I was going to try for all three of them. But um, that was my third option. My second option was the Moabs. I really like those. I just really like the color brown. It was really dope to me. So I probably should have tried to get those. But when I went back into the sneakers app, after I got the little got them notification, I did see a lot of the smaller sizes were sold out. And eventually, I think every Every one of her pairs sold out. I'm not sure if each model, but I, for the most part, it was a sellout. I know these sold out, but um, so yeah, if you try, if you're trying to purchase these, either look into a reseller or look on StockX or Gold or something like that. Um, just do an eBay search, Google search, and you may be able to come up on them. I don't really think the retail, I mean, the resale on these will be super expensive, but you never really know in the sneaker world so um that's gonna bring us really to the end of this video i hope that you all enjoyed it be sure to follow me on all my social media networks i will have them in the description box of this video and also in my about section it's always room to like comment subscribe and share and i will see you in my next video thank you for watching